Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about Flutter and MQTT. I had an older video on the same topic where which I use Flutter and MQTT using provider. So some of you have requested me to do a video on Riverport. Uh, so this is where, where I have tried uh, with Riverport uh, and I managed to get it working. Uh, let's uh, discuss about that today. So before we do that, let me show how the app works. So basically we have a iOS and Android clients here. Uh, they both are going to talk to each other via MQTT broker. So if you, this is the app, so the app has two screens, which is a setting screen and uh, a messaging screen. So in the setting screen, you will enter the broker details and connect uh, to the broker and you can connect and disconnect here. So now I have connected to broker.highwayenq.com, which is a public uh, broker. And, <clears throat> and then you can subscribe to a uh, topic. So I just gave a test topic as MQTT1. So I'm going to subscribe now. And then let's send some message. So let's see if it reaches here. Yes, so it reached here. And you can send a here you go. Yes, so you can see that it the replay reaches here. So that's what basically it is. Let's now quickly dive into the source code. As you have seen, so we have two screens. So one is the setting screen and the end rate topic, end rate message, and see the history of the messages. Then you have the IMQTT controller. So this is one change that I have did. Uh, this is to ensure that we kind of create an interface so that we can inject the MQTT manager. So in this interface, you will define the functions that you need, uh, initialize, disconnect, publish, subscribe, unsubscribe, etc. And also the app state. So I have made this interface extend change notifier so that we get the the change notifier feature also and then you have the mqtt manager which is the core uh, part of this uh, application so as you can see mqtt manager now extends imqtt controller so which means that you have to implement all the interface methods here like initialize uh, publish connect disconnect etc and everything else uh, remains the same uh, as before so you have the current app state so which will define uh, which will define a connection state which is which says like whether the app is connected disconnect or connecting or subscribe those kind of things and which also keeps track of the received text and whenever a text change happens like we kind of notify the uh, system and the UI updates accordingly so for example let's say PT manager we kind of send a notification or we kind of update the state so which will trigger a, a rebuild of your UI and these are the uh, different functions that we have like for example connect disconnect then publish on subscribe unsubscribe on disconnect on connected and subscribe unsubscribe which is these are the ones that we currently support and mqtt manager also wraps all the apis from the package mqtt client so in future, like if you want to change it to a different client, it is possible by changing things in this MQTT manager. Then you have this, this is new. This is the, from the river port. So we kind of create a change notifier provider here and which is of type uh, IMQTT controller. And then you return an instance of MQTT manager. So here uh, you can, there is a boss since we have defined an interface there's a possibility of returning a different MQTT manager if you want then you have this status bar which is just a widget to display the status of your application which is this uh, orange 
or the red bar then in the message screen so what the major change is watching the MQTT manager provider so basically it will have all the methods that we have exposed via the uh, interface so basically getting the current state and if you want to uh, connect or publish a message all these things will be available via the uh, manager so let's see for example yeah for example if you want to subscribe so manager subscribe to a current topic so since this is exposed via the interface so we will be able to access it here and whenever any state changes so the since we have the watch available here so the ua gets rebuilt accordingly and same in the case of setting screen so we kind of change to consumer stateful widget consumer state and we start watching the manager here uh, everything else kind of remains the same it's mostly uh, building the ui uh, configuring the functions to configure and connect disconnect etc so i'm not going to go into details for that the so the main aim for this video was to just explain the changes when using the river port package so to recap so you have this mqtt manager provider then you have the stateful widgets changed to consumer stateful widget and consumer state then you want to do a unit test you can kind of override the value with with a with another provider for example if you want to do a unit test you can inject a new provider class by using this override api <coughs> uh, yes i think that was it i will add the link to the source code in the description please check and let me know if you have any feedbacks thanks a lot bye